Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a video ranking every generation 1 Dracula doll. Now I think I've gotten all of them here, but if I missed any, I'm sorry this took forever to get, so I'm too lazy to look any further. First thing I want to say is ignore the last two dolls. They're already on the list, but for some reason I added them twice. So yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it. So first we have Sleepover Dracula from 2016. Now, this doll is okay. I mean, she's just a sleepover doll. I like the like actual design of the dress, but in my opinion, it doesn't look very sleepover -y. It doesn't look like pajamas. It is cute, but the shape of the dress does not look like a night dress or anything. So I'm probably going to put this at a B tier. And by the way, guys, if you don't know this ranking system, SS tier is top of the top best Dracula dolls of all time. B tier is it's all right. And D tier is mother of God. That's the worst doll ever. <laughs> so now that we have that out of the way, let's continue. We have 13 Wishes Draculaura. She is very cute. I've always loved her. I love the tinsel in her hair. It's adorable. So of course, we're going to put her at an S tier. And next is Art Class Draculaura. Now, I myself is an artist. So I'm going to be very biased and also put her as an S tier. I just love all the colors. Dracula has always looked good with pink and yellow. I might be a bit biased because my main character is also pink and yellow, but we're just going to ignore that, okay? All right, next. Yeah, it's not great. Next, we have basic Dracula from 2015. I don't have anything good to say about this doll. I don't. I know it's just a basic doll, but it's just so blah. I mean, the color doesn't match with Dracula's hair. I know it doesn't have to, but just in my opinion, I don't like the doll that much. It's, it's just, it's, it was toward the end of generation one where Mattel was losing money. So I'm going to put it at a C tier. Next doll is Boo York Frightster Dracula. I've actually never seen this doll before. It's honestly a pretty cute doll. I don't have anything special to say about it, but I do love the silver, so I'm gonna put out an A tier. And by the way, guys, I'm not gonna be comparing re-releases of any of the dolls. I'm just gonna be doing the general, the doll in general. No comparisons of um, re-releases. Next, we have the OG, of course. You know where this is going straight to the top to the SS tier. No questions asked. Next. It's Creepateria Draculaura with pink and yellow again. She's super cute. I love the little tray she's holding. It's a nice and simple doll, but it gets the job done, you know? So I think I'm gonna put it out. Hey, next is a very cute doll, Dawn of the Dance Draculaura. I absolutely love this doll. I love her dress. I love the shape. I love her little hat. I love everything. She's adorable. I think I'm going to put her at an S tier. Next is Dead Tired Draculaura from 2011. Honestly, Dead Tired's line has never missed. They've always been amazing, so S tier for that. And this is another Dead Tired Draculaura, the 90 version from 2012. Not as cute as the 2011 version, but I think I will still do it in an S tier. This doll is from a playset, the next one. It's Diner Draculaura. Again, I've never seen this doll before. <laughs> it is actually a pretty cute doll though. The dress is a nice shade of pink, almost hot pink or red. I think I'm gonna put this at an A tier. I just love it. It's just nice and simple. It's not tacky or anything. Next we have Do Dead Gorgeous Draculaura. Honestly, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I like the hair. Everything else I just don't really connect with. So I think I'm just gonna put this at a B. I can appreciate the design, but it's just not for me. <laughs> Next we have Collector Draculaura. Now, no questions asked. This is an SS tier. 
a beautiful doll she has rooted eyelashes just overall she's a beautiful doll i love the um shape of her dress it's gorgeous next is dracula and her draculocker um it's a doll you know <laughs> nothing special but it's not bad either i think i'm gonna put it in b tier fear leading dracula She's pretty cute. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna leave it in A tier. <laughs> Next is Save Frankie Draculaura. This is a really cute doll. I'm putting it in S tier. I just love the graphics on her t-shirt. It's just super cute. And it's pink and yellow again. So yeah, of course I'm gonna put it high. <laughs> Next is Dracubecca. To be honest, even though I thought freaky fusion dolls were cool like the concept i was never really a fan of their dolls i just never connected with any of the fusions i can appreciate this doll but i'm gonna put it at an a tier nothing higher next is frightfully tall draculaura nothing special it's just the og tall just because it's technically a re-release and it's only bigger i am gonna put it on an a tier because it doesn't bring anything new to the table. Not to mention the doll isn't even that detailed. They could have made it so much more detailed, but I t I'm pretty sure the original Dracula is more detailed than the Frightfully Tall one. Next is Fright's Camera Action Black Carpet Dracula. I love her hairstyle. I do like the dress. I don't like the raw edges at the bottom though, but everything else I do like. So I think I'm gonna put this at an A tier. All right, we have Ghoul's real Dracula now. Now this might be a bit controversial, but I don't like this doll. I've never liked it and I never will like it. I just don't like the big plastic wings with the, the big design in them. I don't know, it's just very cluttered. I do like her curly hair, but everything else, I'm just not vibing with. I mean, the lips are nice, but her eye makeup, I'm just not a fan, so I'm gonna put it in B tier. Okay. You know, actually, for this basic Dracula doll, I think I'm gonna put it in D tier. <laughs> it's probably the worst Dracula doll I've ever seen. And now we have Gloom Beach Dracula. Of course, pink and yellow, she's gonna be high on the list. But where? Where? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep her there. I mean, she is a beach doll. You can only get so detailed with them. Now, Great Scarier Reef, Jack Laura. Mm, she's a flop. I never liked the Great Scarier Reef dolls. They were towards the end of G1 where the quality was just going down. And I don't even remember these dolls happening. So <laughs> they clearly didn't leave a big impression on me. Now we have one of the most recent G1 Draculaura dolls, and it is Haunt Couture Draculaura. She is definitely SS tier. A beautiful doll. I love the rooted eyelashes. I love the little cape she has. Everything about her is gorgeous. Okay, next doll, Haunted Draculaura. She's cute. I've always liked the Haunted dolls. I think I'm gonna put her in S tier. She's pretty cute. Next is, I love she's Draculaura. Surprisingly, I actually love this doll a lot. One thing I do have to complain about though is she does not look like a regular 16 year old. It's definitely the outfit. It's just a very older, like mid twenties kind of mom outfit. <laughs> she kind of looks like a mom, but that's okay. She's still adorable. I'm gonna put her at an A tier. She's cute. And surprisingly, I love red on Draculaura. It looks really good on her. That red skirt is definitely doing her justice. Killer style Draculaura is next and oof, she's cute. Straight to the S tier. I don't know what about it I like it. I just love it so much. Next, oh, Mall Monsterista's Draculaura. I don't like this. It's a cute doll, okay? It is, but it just doesn't look like Draculaura at all. Maybe it's the lack of bangs. Maybe it's the fact that almost her entire hair is pink. To me, she just looks like one of those crappy knockoff dolls. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> 
I don't know guys. She's cute, but for Draculaura, nah, she's a C tier. I don't know what they taught when they were making this doll, but it just, it just, I, I don't know. It just looks like a knockoff doll that would be made in China. <laughs> Leaving that behind, next we have Monster Exchange Draculaura. This girl, she's adorable. I love the pastel pink. I love the mix of culture. I can't remember where she went. I think it was China. Either way, adorable. Definitely an SS tier. Next we have Music Festival Draculaura. So she clearly isn't a very detailed doll, but just because she's not detailed doesn't mean she's bad. I mean, look at her. She's adorable. I love the hair so I love the tight skirt. I love everything. She is an A tier for me, guys. An A tier. Next is Picture Day, Draculaura. One thing I absolutely love about this doll is the skirt. It just looks so high quality. It looks amazing. I wish I had this doll. I'm gonna put her at an S tier. So Powder Room Draculaura is next. And once again, I've never seen this doll before. Um. It is a basic kind of doll. There's not much going on. I mean, obviously they had to put attention into the playset too, so the doll isn't that detailed, but she's pretty cute. I like the robe and I like the curly hair, but you know, it's not one of my favorites. It's okay. I'm gonna put it at a B tier. <laughs> Next is a very, a doll I find very interesting. Draculaura is Snow Bite. I really like um, Draculaura in green. Now, I will be honest, I feel like something is missing from this doll, like, they had so much potential and the doll is good, but I think they could have made it great. Something just feels missing, maybe it's the hair. I do like it, but, um, not a lot, so I'm gonna keep it at A tier. Next is, um, Scare Studio Fright Draculaura. This Draculaura looks a bit more budget, but they make it work. I actually really like this outfit and I love her hair so I love the little bag and I am actually gonna put this on S tier <laughs> I know it doesn't really look like it stands up to the rest of the dolls in S tier but for a basic slash budget doll she is really good so I think she does deserve an S tier <laughs> Scarnival Draculaura is next nothing nothing special about this Draculaura I do like blue and pink on Draculaura, but just the way this outfit is on her, it's really cheap looking. The skirt just bleh. Everything is bleh. The only thing I do like is her little pet, but everything else, no. So I'm actually gonna put this at a D tier. I'm not vibing with it. Moving on, we have Skull Shores Draculaura. Once again, never seen this doll before. <laughs> I like it. She's cute, nothing special. I'm gonna put her at a D tier. Okay, sweet 1600 Draculaura. She is adorable. S tier. I love the petticoat under her dress. I love her hairstyle. She just looks so elegant. Sweet Dreams is next. Nope, I meant Sweet Screams. This doll very much reminds me of a circus character. I like her. I don't like her a lot, but I do like her. I don't know, she's just not one I'm totally in love with, but the more I stare at her, the more I do start to fall in love with her. Her design is very cool. So to be honest, I think I'm gonna put this on nest here. All right, guys, we only have five dolls left. Next, we have Swim Class Draculaura. I've never seen this doll before again. Maybe I'm slacking, guys. I like this doll. I like her pink glasses, everything pink. I like the swimsuit. It looks kind of vintage. I don't really know how to describe it, but I do like it. And I love Draculaura's little pigtails and the way they're curled. They're just so cute, guys. I'm putting her, I would say, at an A tier. She's a pretty cute swimsuit doll. Okay. Two more dolls, no, three more dolls left. Of course we have Wave 2 Draculaura from the two pack with Claude Wolf. She is one of the cutest dolls ever. The, the little yellow accents, just, oh my gosh. And the umbrella, are you kidding me? This is straight to SS tier. I am in love with her. Let's move on to the next doll. And actually the most recent Draculaura doll. 
the drama reel black and white jack laura you know when i heard they were doing a black and white line of dolls this year i was cautiously optimistic because they've done black and white dolls before and i was just thinking why are they doing more but they added a twist all of the doll is black and white except these pops of one color and Dracula's is hot pink and it just it fits so well she looks so cool so edgy i'm putting her at an s tier she is really cool and she comes with a poster and a mini poster that is really cool second last doll coffin bean Dracula. now there's actually a new coffin bean playset just out recently for generation 3 but we will get into that in part 2 of this video yeah this video is going to be two parts this video is clearly like generation 1 and part 2 is going to be generation 2 and 3 anyway we have this is coffin bean check laura she's okay i like i i like it you know nothing special to say and this beast bites cafe it's a basic doll it's kind of ugly i'm putting this at a d tier all right i think this is my tier list finished i might do some rearranging maybe all right i'll come back to you in a sec i think i actually am gonna do a bit of changes so i'll see you in one sec all right we are back and i have made some changes not too many but i did move a few dolls to different ranks i forgot all the name of the dolls so i can't say who i moved so you will just have to look really hard okay guys i'm sorry but yes this is the end of the tier list i'm very curious to see your guys opinions on my tier list tell me if you would change anything if you would keep anything the same what are your opinions on the spots i put your favorite dolls in let me know guys i think that's the end of the video I think this is the part where I say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I'm currently losing subscribers <laughs> because of my last video, but that's to be expected. Okay, guys. Thank you for listening to me put plastic dolls into tier lists. By the way, Dracula is my favorite doll. Okay, I'm rambling. All right, this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with me. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.